Good morning, everybody. Today is the day. I'm about to be going to ATL. It's Friday, then the seminar, and the seminar is tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, get into it, okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to vlog this whole experience. Hopefully, I can do it right. My breath kicking. I got to wash my face. I got to get in the shower. I got lots of things to do today. So, stay tuned, baby. Yo. looking a hot ass mess but the thing is i gotta make a couple errands i gotta go return this stuff to goodwill i gotta stop by walmart and i gotta stop by my bank and i gotta look for some heels and a new purse you dig okay so i guess i'll take y'all on a little mission wrong with me or what now nah. i'm just kidding up to target we finna see if i can find like a red or a gray turtleneck or a shirt with no print let's see there's turtlenecks, but they all got prints on them. I just need something plain and cute. <sighs> this is ghetto, y'all. Real, real ghetto. I haven't been able to find a turtleneck. A plain turtleneck. It's a bit. It's a whole bit. Y'all, I've been talking, thinking that I've been recording this whole time, and I haven't. But secure the bed. I got a ray, uh, a ray. I got a red and gray turtleneck. One with a color, That's the kind. I'm gonna go back to the grill and see how it looks with this outfit so I can finally pick my shoes. Y'all, I'm like an, a busted, crusted, musted. Y'all fill in the blank shit. <laughs> But I'm about to go to the crib, try these on, and then see if I need to go shopping again. I'm looking so beach, y'all. Lips looking crusty, rusty. Mm. All right, y'all. I had to do a little something with my lips because they were looking crusty. But I'm going to go get my lashes done because I already tried on my outfit for the seminar. I'm fit the red turtleneck worked out perfectly, I guess. You know, uh, but I'm gonna go get my lashes done, then go to Goodwill to turn this stuff back, and then go find some shoes, and then pack up my little stuff, and go catch this plane. Of course, I'm gonna do my hair before because I'm looking like a rag doll. Can't be looking like that out in the streets. Well, I guess I am out here in the streets looking like that, huh? Why don't I pull up to this nail shop to get my little lashes done? And they don't open till 10 o'clock. That mug said 9.30 on the internet. All right. So I'm about to go turn this stuff back into Goodwill because I don't need it. And I guess then go get my lashes done. The fuck? Y'all, I'm looking so beat. I'm so upset with myself. But okay, so Goodwill doesn't open until freaking 10 either. So y'all need to change whatever y'all got online to be something different, okay? I'm on a time crunch. I always do everything last minute though. Cause that makes me less nervous. If that makes any sense. I'm backwards. I'm a backwards person. These people are literally lining up at the door like they finna open it or something. Y'all wait till I get back right. Cause I'm looking a mess. My hair is sweated out. That's why I got this hat on. My hair is looking a mess. Maybe if I do this, it'll look a little different. I look better. I guess a little bit decent. <laughs> okay, y'all, y'all see me? Lashes intact. Okay, just got my lashes done. It's 11 o'clock. I'm trying to get everything done by 12, so we got one hour to do all of this, okay? I just gotta go get some shoes and go to Walmart to go to my bank. And that's about it. Cause I'm gonna get a purse from Walmart too. But my lashes was $25. I just got individuals. I know how to do them myself, but I ain't have the time for all of that this time around. 
And then on top of that, I was just wanted to do um, strips whenever I went, but I got these nails put on. And baby, I don't know how to put lashes on with these nails. Cause I normally go natural. Damn, I got off on the wrong exit. <sighs> Y'all, just wait till I put myself through the door because I'm looking beat, busted, crusty, everything, and more. I don't know why I came out the fucking house like this. <sighs> I'm running on CP time. It's over 12. <laughs> I'm pretty much done, though. I just got a pack still. It's 12 o'clock. My plan is at 2.39. I need to leave out of here by at least 1.15 to get there on time. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> hey, hi, sweetie. I love your outfit. I've been going to vlog while I was getting ready and stuff, but I was really running short on time. Now, I'm gonna be on my way. <laughs> I'm gonna be on my way to the airport. Hey, we're going to Atlanta. I hope this passes as a carry-on bag because I literally stuffed everything in there because I didn't take the time out to pack early like I was supposed to. So check in with me what? Okay, we're not doing that. Look, yeah, we're here y'all. It's about that time. You know what I'm saying? About to make these <laughs> about to make these moves. We got things to do already. Right. I'm finally done with them checking my bags. That took a while. They made me take my mask off because they said that they thought I had something in my mask and I did it. So I got to travel to A6 to get on my plane and board in like 10 minutes. So we made it inside. Hello. My cousin is there. My cousin in the building. This is the end of the seminar, y'all. We finna clean up and go. But I'll catch y'all later because I gotta catch this plane, baby. I just want y'all to know a bad bitch is talking. Fuck do you mean? <laughs> Fuck do you mean? Okay. So now I'm going to tell y'all about my experience at the money seminar. Bree and Tisa's money seminar. I can't forget Tisa. I can't do that. No, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. So season, from my understanding, season one didn't have to go to a money seminar. They just had to send in videos and got picked. For season two, we had to attend a money seminar because the tickets weren't buying out. So I guess they were trying to use that to see if we were serious about stripper boot camp season one. I mean, not season one, season two or three. So beforehand, obviously I'm from out of state. So I had to buy a plane ticket, which was like 276. I had to buy the ticket which was $200. If you didn't buy the ticket before that date, you were supposed to, like the deadline date, you had to pay at the door, which was $250. And then, the seminar was November. Uh, why my light go out? My bad, before I really got interrupted, my damn ring light went out. Like I was saying before I got really interrupted, the seminar, I'm not gonna keep playing with this thing. Hold on, y'all. Damn, like I don't know why this thing keep turning off. Shit. Like I was trying to say before I keep getting rudely interrupted. Like, okay. My, okay, the seminar was November 14th. It was from 9 to 3, which is six hours. I got there around 8 20, 8 30. 
Now, when I showed up, I was kind of lost on where to go because the area that we was in, I ain't gonna cap, it didn't look like no seminar was supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fake it to y'all. So I hate uh, DM Brisa and Tisa. I said Brisa. <laughs> I had messaged Brie and Tisa like, where y'all at? <laughs> but then I finally seen some girls. They messaged me back, but it was after the fact that I finally seen some girls walk in, and they went into E. So the letter E. That's where we went in. So I walked in. It was like eight twenty, eight thirty. Had to check in at this little desk. So you had to give her your like, give her your name. First of all, my name wasn't even on the list like do y'all not know who the fuck i am like stop playing with me stop playing with me okay <laughs> i look like i ain't got no teeth oh <laughs> but um yeah my name was on the list but that was something so minor and small she literally checked me and she seen my ticket and was like yeah you good to go i don't know why your name was on the list i'm like girl i don't know why either so i sat my black ass down we waited um we waited. It was like 8.20, 8.30. And mind you, the seminar started at 9 o'clock. So we was waiting for a little minute. They had breakfast and everything for us, which was nice. I ain't eat nothing, though, because I was just like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready for this stuff to happen. Where everybody at? Uh, where everybody at? So Tisa was already there. Like, Tisa was already there. She was already in her holly jolly spirit. She's just so, I don't know, she's so bubbly and welcoming. Her spirit is very welcoming. Uh, she even said hi, like, wave, smile, everything. She, I felt like she actually acknowledged that, hello, I'm here. Everybody else is here. Speak. And then later on, it was like, I honestly don't know what time Brie walked in, but it was more on the later side. It's not that she was late, but it was more so on the later side. But she even said that we were supposed to be, they knew that we were supposed to be starting later. So, that's. I wasn't even mad about that. I was just like, yeah. But my first impression on Brie, I'm not going to cap to y'all. I'm not going to lie. But I felt like I was overly judging her. I just, she was giving me weird vibes. I don't know what it is. She was like a stuck up vibe that I was getting from her. But I really felt like I was just maybe overthinking it reading her wrong. Like, I don't know her from a can of paint. So it's like, maybe I'm looking at her differently i don't know but she came in just like she didn't even sp i didn't see her speak to nobody so that kind of rubbed me the wrong way not that she had to speak to us but i didn't see her speak to like her little peoples or whatever like she came in with her purse like flipped her hair walks in like i'm that bitch hello this my shit that not that that's a bad thing too like you know this my shit hello i'm here but i don't know it was the demeanor i don't know what it was that was like what the fuck i was just throwing me off besides that like i said tisa was in a holly jolly spirit she had more of like a welcoming spirit in my opinion um i don't know maybe it was because she talked to me she said hi she waved she smiled she acknowledged me i don't know if that's maybe it but so after all that stuff happened the money uh seminar finally started now they had, I feel like they had a good setup as far as, um, I feel like they had a good setup. So they had speakers come in to talk to us about good credit. <laughs> they had speakers to come in to talk to us about good credit, bad credit, business credit, and personal credit. Now that is something new that I did learn there was the business credit aspect because I had no idea about business credit i just thought it was personal credit you can have good or bad credit and everything ties down to that one credit no the lady broke it down and she explained what it was which that was some information that i didn't know before and that's some information i did leave with they went over youtube aspects but the youtube stuff i'm not gonna <laughs> I knew a lot of that stuff because I was researching on YouTube because I've always wanted to start my own YouTube. I've always did. I just never made that initiative to go ahead and do it because I wanted everything to be perfect when I start. But it's not about perfect. It's just about starting and taking that step, okay? That's what I should have just been doing. But they were talking about YouTube stuff, which is some people probably didn't know the information. Just like the good, bad credit. Like some people, there's people that didn't know certain things and there's people that did know certain things. So, they gave us a vendor list as well. I don't need the vendor list. 
because that's not what I'm personally going, my business is going for. But somebody else could have used that information, you feel me? I just didn't use that information. And then they were just giving us little tips. Like, Brian Tisa went over, like, I guess their experience as being strippers, how they came up or what they're going to do or whatever the case may be. Mind y'all, I'm kind of just backtracking right now because... The seminar was last year in 2020. I'm recording this in 2021 for whatever reason. I should have, I don't know. I was trying to save my footage for when the season drops so I can have everything together, have all my ducks in a row, you know. But I should have videotaped this right after because my brain would have been more here. Uh, what else? The motivational speakers yeah so there is this one lady that really stood out she was a motivational speaker there she really was telling us just about her life journey it wasn't necessarily just about stripping none of that it was just really how she came up from nothing with her husband and that her husband was there 10 toes behind her you feel me that was i really enjoyed listening to her i really really enjoyed listening to her um, she had a good head on her shoulders too. Like you can tell that she been through stuff, but she's so humble and so thankful and so grateful for where she's at now. She was thankful about her journey before she even came up. I was like, this lady, she the truth. She the truth, baby. <laughs> but yeah. What else? Like, don't get me wrong. They have good information there, but personally, the information that I took in wasn't from Bree nor Tisa. The information mostly came from like the speakers there. Me personally, I don't know if the decorations was throwing me off. They had some good decorations, but I don't know if the venue slash decorations was throwing me off on why I felt like the seminar wasn't worth $200, $250. I really, I don't know. I gained some information, but it wasn't enough information that I couldn't find online. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't $200 or $250 worth of information. Put it that way. That's, that's where I'm believing but i see they they was doing a good thing the concept was very very good it was very nice but they wanted us to dress business professional now when i was there i was dressed business professional i'm gonna insert a picture some of them girls was not dressed business professional the only girl that i feel like kind of has an exception was the girl who lost her luggage at the airport everybody else don't get me wrong there are some girls that was dressed business professional but some of them, I was like, I don't know if we about to hit the club and dance like a stripper, dance like a, you feel me? I just don't know. But all the girls there was nice. So before they even talked to the speaker, like had the speakers talk to us and stuff, they had went around and had all the girls introduce themselves and tell them why you want to be on stripper boot camp, what made you come to the money seminar, like, how serious are you? Blah, blah, blah. Now, before it was my turn, I guess people was talking too long. I don't know. But by the time it was my turn, they had stopped and was like, keep it to a minimum of one. I think it was like 30 seconds to a minute. Something like that. And honestly, I couldn't even get what I wanted to say out because I felt so rushed. Like, anytime that it's my turn for the talk, it's like people is rushing me. Like, I don't know what it is. Or it's like... Keep it to a minimum, da da da. Like, y'all, I'm not no minimum type of bitch. Shut the fuck. <laughs> like, stop playing with me. Um, the things that could been improved there, cause like, yeah, there was good and bad there. Um, the things that could be improved. Mm, the food there was hella good, <laughs> hella fire. It was so good. Um, the things that could have been improved. I wish we would have learned more from Bree and Tisa themselves because that's who we was going to the stripper boot camp for. We was going there to learn from them. So if they would have gave us more information, because a lot of the stuff that they was talking about, they be like their experiences and stuff, they talked about on their YouTube channel. You get what I'm saying? So it's just repeated stuff. 
I wanted them to just go in depth like I don't know. Like I just wanted them to go more in depth. Like the the um dark skinned tall lady. She really like I felt like I learned something or took something from her and this wasn't even her stripper boot camp seminar or nothing. She, like she was elaborate, she like feelings, everything. And she just was more put together, I felt like as a whole like her story was more put together put it that way uh would you go to the seminar again honestly it was an experience i'm all about experiences and everything of that nature i enjoyed myself but i just i honestly don't feel like it was worth 200 dollars to 150 dollars whatever you the girls had to pay it just wasn't worth that amount in my opinion but in my head i knew like in my head i was saying that when i first got there but i was like like I said, it was an experience. I probably would just because it gets me out the house. Okay, then at the end, that's when they started picking the girls. I just felt so unwanted. I'm not going to cap. I felt so unwanted. Like, first of all, I felt like I was being rushed when it was my turn. They wanted people to stand out, this, that, and the third. Cool. The thing was... I was one of the last ones picked. I felt like they didn't even want me. They just kept looking at me and like picking all the girls around me. I was just like, you know what? This is a bunch of bullshit. This is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> but I ended up getting picked. So I was just like, all right. I'm going to get that out of my head. Like they ain't want me. You feel me? I'm going to get that out of my head. And we finna boss up for the season. But the, whole, the season was another story. And y'all going to see. The information on that, okay? Y'all gonna get the tea for that, baby. But yeah. So now, I'm gonna talk about... So, pretty much, I asked the girls, do they feel like the season was worth... <laughs> so, pretty much, I asked the girls if they felt like the seminar was worth 200 or $250, whatever they had to pay. Like, did they retain the information? Did they leave knowing something that they didn't know before? Did they feel like it was worth going on, pursuing, whatever? So, that's what we're going to do now. One okay. second. I'm going to start with Blue Dream, baby. Okay, Blue Dream from Kentucky. She said, I'm going to like put a screenshot up here too, wherever, on whatever side I'm going to try to. She said, well, this is pretty much what I said. I said, hey, y'all, I'm finished. <laughs> I said, hey, y'all, I'm trying to finish recording this seminar video. All the girls from season two, can you please respond? Did y'all feel like y'all learned anything at the seminar? Honestly, if so, what did you learn? And did you feel like the seminar was worth 200? And then, like I said, Blue Dream responded, yeah, it was worth it. I like how it was multiple different businesswomen giving us information on how to start a business, building credit, and starting a YouTube channel. Like I said... There was good business ladies there. Like the good credit, bad credit, all of that. That's information that I took in. And it's what she took in. Now, with exotic butter rat, baby. I'm going to try to put her voice thing on here. Hopefully, it's better quality when I actually upload this. Okay. I feel like I learned a lot from the seminar. Like when it comes to like my credit and shit and opening up my business. But was it worth 200 Um, I really didn't think about that. That's a good question. Shit, let me know too. But the seminar was cool. It was cool. But I was peeping some fugazi shit though. That's why I keep saying like I've been peeping shit since the seminar. That was exotic. <clears throat> she said she was, she learned some stuff, but she was also peeping some stuff at the seminar. And I think me. I think I know what she was talking about. There was a lot of facial expressions. A lot of facial expressions that I was picking up on. I ain't gonna care. That's all I'm gonna say though. Next, we're gonna go to Champagne Baby. She said, like I said, I'm gonna put it up here. $200 to listen to someone who only works the pole and not the floor is lame as fuck. They nothing without that pole. I'm a floor girl. I'm not gonna learn no pole tricks in two to three days. I wanted to learn more ways to give lap dances, etc. and shit I can do because I'm not flexible. Bree said nothing worth $200. We could have got that information from Google or YouTube. I kind of felt the same way on a lot of the information. 
the only one the only information that really stood out to me was the business credit business credit that's what really stood out to me everything else like the vendors i didn't need but somebody else could have needed that uh the youtube stuff i've already learned that stuff i already did my own research on that but like i said somebody could have been lazy and they needed that information and never had that information you feel me and then my baby girl g stallion she said i feel like everything was a damn scam to be honest we paid 200 dollars to sit and learn about credit and vendors for our other businesses yes that was good but we really didn't learn stuff about the stripper world it was a waste of 150 to pay to hold our spot and we get there and barely learn anything at the camp barely learned the pole it was some girls like myself who wanted to learn the pole and for her to give us a two-day pole class was not enough and on top of that didn't have no clubs for us to work at and ask the girls where they want to work at it's very unprofessional i'm grateful i went to meet y'all and make some money but for her teaching us anything was not worth it we wasted a good 400 450 on the camp so Oh yeah, so after the seminar, we did have to pay 150 to hold our spot. I don't know if it was to hold our spot or if that money went over to the house. I want to say that was like the house payment, but I'm not for sure. That's a good point. But, okay, so Lola, <laughs> she said, she made an emoji face and said, it's, all, it's pretty much this emoji face. Is all I have to say. I'm sick. Baby girl, we're all sick under the weather. <laughs> and then I asked a lore. She pretty much was like, you want me to type it to you? I said, yeah, or send a voice message. She goes, I think it's more sense for me to save my opinion for my own YouTube video. But I will definitely do a live with you or make a video. I said, well, yeah, I got all the girls besides you, Kia, and Bang Bang. Just like a brief, not in depth, if that makes sense. But I understand. And she said, you know how I feel. Laugh my ass off. We talked about it. And I don't mind if you tell them what I said. Yeah, me and Alora talked about it in private because it's like, it's it just, it is what it is. We all was talking in private at certain points. But... Alora was pretty much saying what the hell I was saying and probably every other girl was saying. So y'all just stay tuned for Alora's video. Now I asked my twin journey. That's my twin twin. I'll call her twin, but I asked twin what she felt. Let me journey. I asked journey what she, how she felt about the seminar. Let me get close. <clears throat> She said, hi, hi. I feel like the seminar was worth 200 for the venue. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I didn't feel like it was 200 It was worth $200 for the venue for each girl. I don't know if I was being super judgmental, but like looking at it and us having to dress business professional, that wasn't the right venue in my opinion. But I'm going to carry on. She goes, 200 for the venue, food, and paying for everyone's time. But for me personally, oh, maybe that was. That makes sense maybe that's why it was 200 dollars because they had to pay for everybody else but if i'm not mistaken brie and tisa said that they both pocketed four thousand dollars each if i'm not mistaken but i'm gonna carry on let me finish reading this let me, i'm gonna just restart reading this whole thing over because i keep stopping she said, hi, hi, I feel like the seminar was worth 200 for the venue, food, and paying for everyone's time. But for me personally, I knew a lot of information that they were already given out. I could easily just look it up on Google or some place else. So for me personally, it wasn't worth $200 information-wise. I agree. And venue-wise. But I, it makes sense now because they had to pay everybody for their time and the food. That does make sense now. It does. But they still... $200, but they still profited $4,000 each, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let me stop because I keep <laughs> I keep stopping in the middle of this. Because so she said information-wise. But I'm sure for someone else, it would be worth $200. At one point, it seemed like it was amazing for it only to be $200 because I thought that was just a set price for the boot camp. And I wouldn't have to come out of pocket again until tip out. That's some other information we didn't know to last minute. And mind y'all, that's coming from Journey, Miss Quiet. That's my twin twin. She's quiet. 
but she's making good points and she was really respectful about it i feel like um bang bang didn't respond to my message which is fine and benji didn't respond to my message either so that's the only ones i don't have now for baby blanco I feel like this seminar was worth the $200. I learned a lot. I learned, you know, about business credit, like different vendors, different stuff about how to start your business. And then, you know, just personal credit and stuff like that. And that's what I feel like I learned. Um, I feel like it was worth it. And that was uh, Blanco's response. So pretty much the business credit is what I feel like overall is what stood out. Just like what she said. And that's it. I'm pretty sure I went through everybody's. But like I said, my overall experience at the seminar, it was good. I really enjoyed, like, my main part that I enjoyed was <laughs> eating that Chick-fil-A food. That shit was fine, baby. <laughs> that shit was hella good. Them sandwiches and chips, I ain't gonna look. <laughs> that shit was good. That was a good choice. But what I really liked about the seminar was meeting all the other girls and just hearing their stories the ones that had enough time to talk i loved hearing y'all stories i still can't remember the dark skinned girl name she was tall dark skinned and she was one of the motivational speakers i want to say motivational speaker public speaker whatever you want to call it i really liked hearing her story and how she came up and learning about business credit and that's that's what i liked about it but I'm not gonna lie, when I got home, I was like, I got scammed. This is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> That's how I genuinely felt. But sometimes you gotta pay for an experience. That's what I was thinking. Like, that's how what I took out of it. I'm paying for an experience. So I ended up getting picked for Stripper Boot Camp season two, obviously. I'm Chrissy Love on season two. I'm real ducked off on the season. Stay tuned, y'all, for nothing about me. You feel me? <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know what else y'all want to know. If y'all got any other questions, I'm going to make more videos on just my experience there. And I'm going to keep it a buck because I was real quiet on the show. But there's some stuff that I liked and there's definitely some stuff I didn't like. So stay tuned for that. And just leave a comment below. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a motherfucking friend. You feel me? Okay? <laughs> so, until next time, stay beautiful, easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl looking ass, okay? <laughs> Bye. Because that pussy hoe could never. I also want y'all to know, being nice to get you nowhere. I have noticed that being nice to keep your mouth shut don't really get you nowhere. Speak the fuck up if you got to speak the fuck up. You feel me? And that's all. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay lit. Stay up. Stay great. Hey. Stay lit. Stay up. Stay great. You know you dancing for when we make that stank face. It's like... <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm really gone this time. Bye.